I gotta be honest, I didn't really even worry about skis sold. I know <laughs> people probably don't wanna hear that, but my goal was always to, I wanted to change skiing. I wanted to try and make that ski that changed the game. Dave is willing to take risks. He's, he's willing to fail to ultimately be successful. To help the guys at Hilltop, Laku, Masaki, wherever these lakes are, get from that two at 38 to running it. You know, the, to make that breakthrough that we all know, like I've, I've made those breakthroughs. It's hard, you gotta dig deep. It's like soul searching a little bit to make the breakthroughs. If you can give them a tool, give them a glimpse of what's possible, give them a glimpse of their true potential, that's really rewarding. For 2017, we have two high end skis. We have V Type R and V Type X. It's not designed to ride like a VTR. Something that would be a little bit more stuck in the water, a little bit more stable. It shuts off speed into the buoy. It naturally wants to pull back from apex under the line. So it requires less skier input in the turn. And when I ski on it, it's different to any other ski we've ever made. The ski is very confidence inspiring. I think that's one of the main things. Like, if a ski is confidence inspiring, it allows you to let go of a lot of your like anxiety and securities and just turn off the brain and just attack. And that's really what the key to shoreline skiing is. As soon as you pick up the line out of the buoy, go into the first wake, through the wakes, you need something that's gonna hold its ground. You need to accelerate to the wakes. You need to be strong, you need to have a platform, you need to have something where you feel like you can get your hips aligned take the pull, carry it out off the wakes, and it does that. It has clean edge technology. From the heel of the back foot through the tail, it's clean edge, which means that that traditional sidewall you find on every ski ever made just disappears, and that bevel shrinks down. And what that does is allows us to run a little bit different width profile, makes the ski very efficient, the second main element on these skis, we're, we're trying to take away anything that's not needed. And as a result of that, you look at the top contouring on the ski and it looks quite a bit different than any ski you've ever seen before. So wherever you have concave on the bottom, the top would be crowned. And we would say in engineering terms, there'd be a, like an offset. The, the top would be an offset of the bottom. And that's what the ski is. And if you notice, you can run your fingers down the center line of the ski. It's like perfectly three eighths of an inch all the way through. And that's really important to me because there's no excess materials, no excess weight. The biggest problem is you still have to put boots on it. We had to build a binding spine uh, in order to get your boots to mount level on the ski, and that's where we had a little bit of creativity. And as a result of kind of working with some FDA analysis and things like that, we it more or less started to mimic kind of like the human spine. It flexes tip to tail, it rotates torsionally, it has the least amount of uh, effect on ski flex, so you're riding on more of the pure ski design than some kind of like binding platform. Yeah, something that's new for 17 is we're doing a women specific V type R. And really the reason being is I think that ski has really struck a nerve with a lot of women skiers. It's that ski that rides a little higher in the water it's super low drag, it's very efficient, and women are very finesse skiers, and a lot of them are drawn to that feel. And we've kind of embraced that. So for this year, we're giving them a women-specific colorway, flex pattern, and sizes in order to really suit the needs of the female skier. When I think about what motivates us at HO, or me personally, to, to try to do something cool with ski design, it's what Willie and Dave talk about. It's giving people that feeling that I know I've had before and that I know they can have. You develop a new ski, you develop a, a revolutionary ski and it's gonna change people's lives on the water and potentially off the water.